Cancer prevention, the role of vitamin D. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. There's been a lot of media attention recently about how vitamin D uh, has been shown to reduce our risk of cancer. I'll tell you that, you know, back in the early 1990s, there was already pretty strong evidence of that, and I was teaching it to my students back then. But what we really didn't know then is how much vitamin D you actually need. So more recently, we've seen studies that help us understand how much vitamin D intake is required to get us into a protective range where we really can reduce our cancer risk, maybe up to 50% or more, and what the blood level ought to be. So when you go to your doctor to see what your vitamin D status is, we need to know what is the number that you're shooting for, and if it's below that, you've got to get more vitamin D in. And if you're in the ideal range already, then you know, you've, already hit, you've already landed on the right spot. And so other studies have shown us then sort of what is the average dose each day that will help people get into the ideal range. Because And not everybody responds the same way to the same dose. That's, that's what be, is becoming apparent as well. But how does vitamin D even prevent cancer? Well, what we've been seeing for a long time, and I mean a, a really long time, almost 20 years now, is that vitamin D attaches to vitamin D receptors on our cells. And then from there, it gets taken right to the DNA, right to the nucleus of the cell where the genetic material is. So it acts very much like a hormone. And it really tells those, the, those particular genes to produce proteins that will then slow down the rate of cell division. When cells divide more slowly, they make fewer genetic mistakes that can lead to cancer. If they make a genetic mistake and they're dividing more slowly, then there's time for the DNA repair enzymes to go out, fix the mistake before it becomes permanent, and then the genetic mutation is reversed so that you don't end up with a cancer cell at the end of the day. So by slowing down the rate of cell division, that's a really important way that vitamin D reduces the risk of cancer. It also does something else. When new cells are emerging from old cells, as the new cell comes into the world, Vitamin D helps it fully mature into a beautiful adult cell. We call this fully differentiated. The more mature the cell is in its appearance, the more resistant it is to the effects of anything that could produce a cancerous change in the cell. So these really mature cells are much more resistant to many carcinogens in the environment than cells that are more immature, didn't fully develop. And the third way that vitamin D seems to reduce our risk of cancer is by having an incredible immune modulation effect. It gets our immune cells much more intelligent. Why is that important? If a cancer cell does form and it doesn't commit suicide on its own, it's starting to divide, it's up to your immune cells now to find that cancer cell, lock onto it and destroy it and bring the other immune cells in to help kill it as well. And vitamin D has been shown to sort of recruit the immune system into the fight against cancer. So in terms of cancer prevention, the blood level of vitamin D that you're shooting for is above 85 nanomoles per liter. So get your blood tested to make sure you're in the ideal range. Studies now tell us that most people will get there if they supplement with between 800 and 1400 IUs of vitamin D. Now for some people it's not enough. They have to go to 1800, 2000, and sometimes beyond that. If you live in a warmer climate where there's more sunlight, remember sunlight hits your skin and can convert 7-dehydrocholesterol, uh, which, is, which is in the skin cells, into vitamin D. But through a window pane, that, that sunlight can't do that job. The window pane filters out the wavelengths that produce this photosynthetic reaction in the skin. So you can't make vitamin D by being exposed to sunlight through a window or a windshield. It has to be direct exposure. All you need is 15 or 20 minutes a day on both of your arms. What I suggest you do is you click on the link uh, below and read my article on vitamin D and its effects on cancer prevention and also osteoporosis. It's all there for you, including the scientific references. Now at machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers, footage from my live professional seminars, uh, other resources, downloads, videos I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research materials, uh, my review articles, and my teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references, so you'll see that you're getting only evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.